the most important thing is to be metabolically healthy. And I just want people to understand that most doctors do not test for this, but it's super easy. It's a fasting insulin test. It's um, you fast overnight, you get an insulin level in the morning. It's not perfect. If you pair a fasting insulin with a continuous glucose monitor, you mentioned those earlier, you have sort of a fasting insulin and you have a proxy for a postprandial insulin with the postprandial glucose. So you can look at the shape of your CGM curve. If you look at the distribution of fasting insulin, I think the average in the States is like nine micro IU per ml, but there are other metrics that suggest that 90 plus percent of the United States is metabolically unwell. So mm -hmm. I think it's reasonable to suggest to people just to give guidance that you want your fasting insulin to be far below nine. I think the best level is probably below five. Most of the time when I check mine, it's less than three. Um, and again, fasting insulin is it's a $30 test. You can get it online. There, Although it's democratized lab companies now, if your doctor won't order it for you, you need a new doctor. Um, I think that if every doctor ordered a fasting insulin, you can immediately get a sense of where you are on some sort of a metabolic health curve. No test is perfect, mm -hmm. but it's pretty darn good. Pop the hood, oil, check the dipstick. Okay, you're good. You got a fasting insulin of 4.5, not bad.